Coming up on the Midweek Madness AFL Today Show, all Australian teams halfway through the season. That's pretty fun. Also, rule changes. This is going to go great, no doubt. Hey, Alex, what's your favourite thing from today's show? Possibly the All-Australian teams. We agree on something, but of course, Stats Guy got it wrong. Ah, uh, good old Stats Guy. Hey, hey Stats Guy, what did you like about today's show? Oh, I'm trying to sneak uh, Rowan Marshall into my All-Australian, and I liked how he bagged St Kilda more than North for once. That was beautiful. Ah, well, that's horses for courses, that one, I'll tell you. <laughs> Either way, you're still 0-10, remember that. Anyway, check out the AFL Today Show right now. Footy is back. G'day, I'm Fitzroy legend Mark Kosicki. Wait, no, I'm not. I'm James Clements, and this is the AFL Today Show. It would be the AFL Yesterday show if Marcus Seacat was doing what he was saying. Uh, this is your new favourite one-stop shop for all things footy. That's right, AFL. Uh, actually, that's the league, isn't it? Aussie rules footy is what we're talking about. Mm. Joining me for this midweek madness show, that's what we do on a Wednesday. Local weirdos, footy enough. Some would call them AFL experts. Over there is Alex Donnelly. Dreaded buy time, Jim. I'm not happy. I'm not know, happy. I know. What are you talking about? Buys are the greatest time of year. <laughs> If Carlton, if Carlton had a buy this week instead of playing Port, do you know how much happier I'd be? <laughs> I'm already angry. I'm pre-angry. Actually, yeah. Like, Stats Boys are like, I don't have to watch the Ruse play this oh, week. I was about to say, I'm here and I'm very excited because the, the Ruse aren't playing this week. I don't have to be sad it's for one week. It's more that it goes yeah. for four weeks that annoys me. It, okay. that, that is annoying, yeah. Uh, that pip squeak you just heard was Stats Boy. Whoa, that's a bit harsh. But like you said... Pip squeak is a great word. <laughs> yeah, it's not accurate, but uh, I'm actually, yeah, excited. I'll be, I'll I'll be the judge of what's accurate, thank you. <laughs> anyway, we... Uh, having a midweek madness chat. We've got plenty of yeah nows, but the cool thing about this episode is we are talking all Australian teams. We're halfway through the AFL season, basically, as Alex alluded to, we're into the second round of buys. Yep. Because the first round of buys were after round zero. Yeah. So the Weirdly second, it's enough. like the second chunk of buys is what we're trying to say. Too many buys. The good thing to come of buys, no overlap. That's true. Granted. That's true. Anyway, so <laughs> before we get into everything, though, of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow AFL Today across all of the socials. Just subscribe. subscribe sc- I'll try that again. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> I can't say it three times, boys. It's all falling apart. <laughs> subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. You've gone now, over the quota. I fixed it. Uh, either way, <laughs> footy is back. Let's do some news. That's right. The news for this week. Luke Parker. On appeal. What's going on, Alex? Well, he decided to send someone's face to a new universe uh, last week in a VFL game. Uh, they appealed the six-week suspension. Fair enough. Have a throw at the stumps. It is six weeks when you consider buys. It goes into, like, late July. Fortunately, unfortunately for the Swans, the decision was upheld. So Luke Parker sits out for six weeks. Already sat out for a week. I don't have too much of, it, of an issue with this. He literally broke a dude's face. So when mm. you say send his face to a different galaxy, one of my <laughs> favorite things is my five-year-old squid. Yep. He's like, Dad library book. I'm like, what'd you get today, pal? And he's like, this is a book on Uranus. I'm like, what? <laughs> Uranus? <laughs> you mean Uranus? And he's like, no. I'm like, ah, oh, we have a disconnect here. <laughs> anyway, so that's where I'm thinking where Luke Parker sent yeah. that face. Yeah, somewhere maybe, out yeah. into space. What a reference yeah. that was. Not great, but Luke Parker, I don't know. I kind of, I'm like, like, if I was a Swans fan, I'm like, just stay on ice, buddy. This is actually probably fine. Just work on your fitness. You'll Possibly, be fine. Yeah. yeah no, Ready and raring. No he hasn't injuries. been playing anyway. So well, yeah. he's, he played four full games in the VFL yeah. and it had a lot of touches of the footy. Hasn't got injured. Now the, the body gets a bit of a break this season. It. He's a bit older. And if something happens to the Swans, say in August, hey, Luke Parker, straight in. I love that. Taylor Adams will definitely ping a hammy and yeah. away we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah probably. Uh, Speaking of the Swans, Chundley Chad Warner is delaying his contract talks until after the Swans win the flag. Well, this he, he's a smart man. It's Chad also Moore. not. I feel like he did not give that joke enough of credit because yeah. it was pretty good. I thought. Like, like this one's gonna win. The he's flag basically, again. oh, my focus here is winning the flag. He's like, what happens if they win the flag? <laughs> he's, like, he's gone. He's, he's like, gone. Oh, okay. Maybe. So Maybe. Chad Warner is contracted till the end of 2025. So that's next year for yeah. those playing along at home. He delayed the contract talks at like the start of the year, and mm. I think it's only coming to prominence now because well, he kicked four and he's got best on ground yeah, on the yeah. weekend. So it's like. He's like, yeah, why would I re-sign now when I'm contracted till the end of next year? By this time next year, I could have won a flag and a Brownlow. Even if he doesn't win a flag, he's he, the contract's going to go up because exactly. he's playing so well. And it's going to be at All-Australian level. But yeah. also, like, it gives Harley Reid one more year to get awesome and he can go <laughs> pair with him and win more flags in West Coast. Or Harley Reid comes to Sydney. Mm. That's not happening. If it's he... going to be tough to get there after he's a Carlton. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Just but, it's, but it is smart business because the new CBA comes in next year. So yep. more money for everyone. And smart. Like, Cash in, Chandelier. Why not? Cash Why not? in. When he does these ones, it means more money. <laughs> uh, we've got a mid-season draft. Yep. Yep. It's a bunch of names where you're like, sure. There's like 10 blokes fine. that 
uh, past AFL players. Reese Masterson is uh, he has in, not passed the beast a mode. <laughs> He's so big now. Yeah, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a tricky one. You look at the names, you're like, I don't know if that's going to be an injury salve band aid kind of vibe. Brisbane would just be like, oh, can we just – we'll have all of them. We've got no one. <laughs> what know. about Richmond? Collingwood as Richmond, well. same sort of vibes. Collingwood. Like, yeah. Yeah. I still think the rule should be if they have played for you in the past and they've retired, <laughs> they don't count against the salary cap. They can come back and play at any point. Cochin, Rewalt. <laughs> we're bringing the boys back <laughs> together. Back. <laughs> the boys are back down. Like this is where we're at. <laughs> Batch Hawley. Batch You can't fit. tell me yeah. he couldn't play right now today. <laughs> I agree. If you just rolled the ball out, he was like, oh, all right, I'm going to get 30. <laughs> like, this is great. <laughs> Jack Rewalt played in Tassie last week. And exactly. Did a great match. Yeah. This is it. I we'll mean, bring back Magic Dory, kicked 11 on the weekend. What? Yeah, for Deer Park. Nothing that's too special. That's awesome. That's pretty cool, yeah. Nice one. Uh, but that's my entire approach. Like, mid-season <laughs> draft is all well and good, but at the same time, if they've played for you before, they shouldn't count against the salary cap and they can join whenever you want. That so who gets funny. Jed Lamb, GWS, Sydney or Carlton? It's the team that you retired for. So <laughs> okay. suck in Hawthorne if you want Luke Hodge. Too bad. It's like Brisbane get his line. Yeah. I Brisbane are like, it. we actually need Hodgie. <laughs> this would actually be really Wait, handy. Would he so be good that, anymore? I don't does know. that mean West Coast can like, sorry, Sam Mitchell, you aren't coach anymore. You're back playing for us. Yeah, back pocket, Sam Mitchell. Captain That'd coach. Back at like the old days. Yeah. To be honest, if they need like another forward next to uh, the J, J train, Peter Sumich. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That'd, go That'd go down great. <laughs> Imagine Glenn Jakovic. I love that. <laughs> yeah. Get the boys back together. Simple as that. Uh, Pendles is out this Friday against the Dogs. Oh, poor Pendles. The Pies. They might need a couple of their former uh, players to actually get out there. Dane Swan's like, me. <laughs> <laughs> I, please. Dane Swan would I please make me relevant again. Field, I yeah, he's, he'll be fine. Uh, <laughs> I love that idea. But, you know, I'm thinking about like Ben Simmons isn't doing much in the old NBA at the moment. The Bombers need a dude. Yeah. Bring, Bring him in mid season draft. What's Mills? stopping the Patty Bombers Mills? from just going, can we pick Ben Simmons? <laughs> <laughs> We might need Imagine a backup. Imagine if he nominated, he couldn't. I saw Anthony Rocker the other day. He looked pretty fit. Put him at the full forward for <laughs> we're, Collingwood. We're getting a lot older than the big guy in the mid-season Kuda is still ripped. Kuda, so Kuda could. Back. Kuda could. Paul Kelly is also still anyway. ripped. Uh, and now the big news from the weekend, well, from the early part of the week, is that the umpires have been instructed to reduce the amount uh, of reasonable time the players have to kick or handball the footy because apparently the AFL is broken and the AFL is like, we need to fix this broken bit. And everybody's literally like... That's the wrong broken bit, you idiots. Yeah. What are you doing? We're the Clearly only... the broken bit is not opening the roof at Marvel. Except and for the then, soccer. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then it's incorrect disposal. And then it's probably holding the ball. Yeah. Are we the only sport in the whole world that changes rules mid-season? Surely. I'm you, trying have to, watched, to... you have watched the NBA before, haven't you, Stats? Yeah, no, the refs do, but they don't, like, announce it, do they? I don't, hey, they the don't... NBA literally did that this year where it's like, when? hey, so at All-Star break, we definitely didn't have a meeting about changing the rules. And then two weeks later, like, we had a meeting about changing <laughs> yeah, the okay, rules. Okay. Also, EPL, this, uh, after the after one of the breaks went with the ball boys, the ball boys couldn't throw the ball back quickly oh, to the yeah, team. Oh, yeah, okay. That's not, like, a real Amazing. technical change. Yes, but it yeah, was. Yeah. Mikel Arteta had instructed the Arsenal ball boys to ping the ball That's back right. to Ben White quickly, but also stuff around when the ball went out for the other team. Anyway, the holding the ball rule has changed this weekend is going to be chaos i i'm just going to like have a six shooter of takes just ready and loaded <laughs> on sunday night for sunday night show this is one time i'm happy this one's have the buy because i'm not going to pull get to that through the tv right now because the midweek winners and losers of the week the midweek winners of this week are sydney the north melbourne kangaroos the brisbane lions and the gws giants why is that, you might ask? Well, they yeah. don't have to deal with this rule change yeah. that will spin absolutely everything yeah, into yeah. complete chaos. And then yeah. they go, oh, huh, well, that didn't cost us a game or anything. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> I mean, North would have lost anyway, but at the same time, like, <laughs> that is very true. what are we saying? Like, It's literally, they and, get to sit back. Lines would have lost, they get to sit back and just watch this just absolutely unfold yeah. mm. as everyone overreacts and freaks out. And the uppo's like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> and the other, those four teams just, just sit there and go, <laughs> I'm enjoying Bali. Like, that's great. That's an absolute win for each of those four teams. Especially, like, what? Brisbane stink. Ruse obviously stink. Yeah. GWS need a break, definitely. And Sydney are flying. Sydney are so flying. They, they probably break, need though. a break anyway. A few injuries. So, pretty good. <clears throat> for the losers, though, fans. Because <sighs> they're just going to be screaming, going, that, was holding, that wasn't holding the ball. It's like, oh, here we go. This is great. I'm happy if there's more holding the ball because I feel like this year, I mean, you're screaming at the TV. Uh, incorrect disposal, yes. But I think it, there has been hardly any holding the ball calls in, in the game. So, so it'll be like rever revert back to the old a little bit. I, I think that's the weirdest problem in this entire aspect of them changing the rule, right? Where it's like, I don't think most folks were really concerned mm. about holding the ball so much as the incorrect disposal of the ball, right? I feel like it's 80-20 yeah. probably in favor of incorrect disposal because everyone's like, that was a drop. That was the throw. We're missing too much stuff. 
like holding the ball. It's like a part almost of incorrect disposal, right? It's almost like the, here's the issue. We'll take care of this little sub issue rather than the full one. It's weird. Even Quit the it. way that we've named holding the ball doesn't really make sense. They rolled out that examples <laughs> today if with uh, why they're changing the rule and all that, why they're changing the interpretation of it. But there's certain ones you look at like, that's holding the ball. That one's not. It's, it's literally the pub test going, he picked it up, took three steps, got tackled. That's probably holding the ball. This yeah. is it. He picked it up, went to give a handball, took the tackler on, got smashed. And then he got holding the, the ball. One. Picked Everyone it up, knows that, got yeah. tackled straight all the way. Ball up. It's ball up. It's simple. We talked about the pub test on Sunday night show, right? Yeah. And it was like, yep. there were so many instances this year that just don't pass the pub test. And you're like, come on, can we just figure this out? And I propose we figure it out. We will be the pub test. What? I'm already at the pub anyway. <laughs> so let's go. You live exactly. at the pub. This week I have lived at the pub. <laughs> Last night Probably. got hairy. It was it's like a Tuesday. What are you doing, Jim? <laughs> anyway, point being, therapy session. Yeah. <laughs> Let's pour it all out, Porsche. Uh, but the idea here is simply the pub test. I don't feel like holding the ball was the biggest thing. It it's was incorrect the, disposal. It's that's my which biggest is the problem. Same basic thing. It's they're not they're not going to reward the tacklers for tackling someone, and then if they somehow grab the arm and the bloke drops the ball as they're trying to handle, it's incorrect disposal. That's holding the ball. Like, yeah, it's not exactly. It's not hard. <sighs> Are we good? Let me get this straight. You're telling me that the AFL is making something more complicated. Yeah, the umpires are probably sitting there like, we have so many complicated rules. They've got like a, every rule has 10 dot points. This, this is where I just go, yeah. be like, boys, just, just umpire down. like it's park footy. Yep. You know, think they've had too long, they've stuffed it up, hold the ball. If it's, Done. If it's it should egregious. have a game with no oh. whistles at all. I think oh. that was Gold Coast Carlton last week. <laughs> yes, it yeah, was. Yeah. And it sucked <laughs> for Carlton. Oh. Uh, let's do some you know. Right. Off the back of that. Hey, will the umpires over X slash overcorrect this weekend with holding the ball? Yeah, nah. Yeah, of yeah. course they're going to. It's going to be chaos. It is tough for them, so I'm going to say yeah. I do love it. Oh, you got to remember it's really hard being an umpire. It is. I mean, it's hard, <laughs> but it's not rocket surgery, you know? I think out of all sports, cancer. it's one of the hardest. We've got way too many rules. It's crazy. It's it's going to be chaos. But it's right. like it's it's like everyone's going to get so angry. Thursday night's just going to be the worst because that's Carlton obviously against Port at oh. Adelaide over. Carlton are definitely going to lose that game. We'll Port Adelaide fans later. will be yeah Power very fans vocal. Be losing it. Yeah, yeah. I mean they've got eight teeth between them and one song. You love to see it. But either way, <laughs> Can't I feel tear like them apart, Jim. No, they, they might tear apart an umpire. <laughs> yeah, yeah. why is an umpire? Hey, you ever seen an umpire out? torn from limb from limb? <laughs> yes, once. Anyway, um, there will definitely be overreactions, <laughs> overcorrections this weekend. Yeah. Simple as that. Hey, will the Saints finish bottom four? Yeah, nah. Yeah. Oh, who's who we got? Richmond. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out who, who else would be in there. Yeah. I'll say yeah. Why not? Are they the biggest disappointment this year? Yeah. Yeah. Nah. yeah. People Brisbane might say Brisbane, but they're still there, hanging but... on a little bit. Saints made the finals last year and they could be bottom four. Brisbane that's, made the that's grand final. Bad. Yeah. They've also been smashed by injuries. Really. I think the, the point was, I think, especially earlier in this week, people are like, Hey, hang on. The Saints are actually pretty healthy. Like, what yeah, is happening? They're just terrible to watch. They've gone like, backwards. Yeah. It's well, the, uh, I feel like the Ross Lyon, the, I feel like there's a talk about line of demarcations in the uh, ladder. There's like definitely like a uh, use by date on Ross Lyon's approach. <laughs> and he's only oh, been in the job for like 18 months. Just on he, Ross Lyon. Now yeah. it's gotten shorter and shorter so, and shorter. So it hit by like, uh, what was it, the second week of September last mm. year? Yep. He's, got, he's got a lot of the young guys, just didn't take that next step. Philip, who's getting dropped when he was awesome last year. Even uh, Max King, what the, what the hell's going on it's with okay. him? okay. Steve Silvani will fix it. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> so Stop awaiting $5 million. <laughs> He's like, hey, everybody from Carlton, come play for me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Arson Kilda are in a worse spot right now than they were when they sacked Brett Ratton. Yeah, nah. Yeah. 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 They in are terms of the ladder, aren't they? Where were they in the ladder with, with they, him? I think they just missed the finals, but they're infinitely worse to watch. It's there's n The game plan is we're just going to clamp and hope we kick goals somehow, but there's no movement forward of the ball. There's... It doesn't seem that there's a game plan for 2024 football. It's a game plan for 2006 that might have worked back then, but now with how the, how the game's advanced, Rowan Mars is just like, I'm good, but this sucks. You got uh, Brett Ratton, 34 and 34 at the Saints. They'll probably take that at the moment. They, 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 they've got a lot more losses than wins. 500 yeah. they're taking. Yeah, yeah. I think it's a fascinating setup where, yeah, that approach They're definitely from, worse. Like, if you think about the teams that Ross had, he obviously had a Pavlich... Uh, half forward, Fife. Ed Rewalt, yep. and like before that, they had like plenty of talent around the ball. This St Kilda team just feels like bereft. But, like well, but last year we talked a lot of steals players. and Sinclairs and stuff, but, and you're like, are they, how good are they? Right? But that's the thing. You look at St Kilda's list, and they are what Essendon have been. Is there's a lot of dudes, but they're not good enough to be good. But they're not bad enough to be this horrendous. Mm. Yet they are. So finally, they <laughs> may get a top five draft pick. 
Because awesome. they're yeah, they never they're always been in that middle. They've always been yeah. in that middle pack. It's I'll give like, you that. Yeah. Do we bottom out and do we do we trade and try and get a stack of draft picks? Mm. Right, they've still got Paddy Dow. Uh, <laughs> North Melbourne, are they in a better position than St Kilda? We've yeah, got nah. really against St Kilda here today. Uh, no, mm. no, no, because you're zero and ten. Oh, yeah. so exactly. No, you can't. Not. You have not won a game. I'm, You've won what I'm, three games? Saints in the last have two years? more. Yeah. Like they have probably like five to ten guys. That you go. All right, I'm, they're at least decent players. Where we can't say that about North. I'm looking. 12 months down the track, and I'd rather be in North Melbourne shoes. We, but I said that last year. Is this before or after you fired Clarko? Yeah. After. <laughs> I don't know. He's good Especially fired, if yeah. we're firing Clarko, then it's going to take another long time to rebuild. I'm, you can't I'm, afford to fire Clarko. I know. This is the one thing I, know, I, yeah. I keep yelling about fire Clarko, fire Clarko. And then but in the we back can't of afford like, it, yeah. Jim, they can't afford to no. pay him out. I'm no. Like, oh, yes. That's a big bank loan. It is annoying. Anyway, <laughs> it's like, oh, geez, we're on the fourth mortgage of Arden Street. Oh, geez, <laughs> oh, Mr. No. They're out there, hats in hands. Like, we have some more money. We, had, we were, fun. what, 10, 15 years ago. That pretty much we happened. We actually Moving. made money last year. Yeah, we're back. Right. On the financial side, that's it. The other good one of this when it comes to North, outside of the Sheasel and Larky, will oh. any other North player make another AFL list? This would is be, an absolute joke. Ali is definitely going to make on one. But I that's think, three. War I think Law. War Law, of course. The War Law yeah. has been a little bit disappointing this year. Nah. He, li- he literally, yeah, he's in a horrible team. He would fit in most teams. Zerhar would make a couple no, of bottom six yeah. lists. Tom Powell. Tom Powell's gone really well. I think Paul Curtis is a sneaky shout as well. Oh, Curtis Cherry, is Cherry oh, plays Cherry a rock somewhere. Well. Yeah, I think oh, yeah, this Cherry. question is a bit harsh. So it's probably it's like seven. Uh, at least ten, I think. Is that a Bob's Bob? Like, nah, it feels like it's that's like Adam. Adam uh, just doesn't like Adam Bob. And he's, yeah. got, he's up and about because Hawks are going right. Both Sydney, Sydney teams finish top four. Yeah, nah. They get nah, gun. GWS don't make it. Okay. I was going to say if GWS what get are they, Where yeah. are they right now? They are... They're like six, seven. Fifth. Oh. Uh, nah. I'm going to say Geelong will jump back in there. Is West Coast being favourites against St Kilda hilarious? Yeah, no. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is... No one's going to argue against That's that. That's a funny one. <laughs> that is very funny. Well, they nearly beat them last year. I like. I distinctly remember that game because I was sitting, in, again, in the pub. Uh, <laughs> There's a through line here. I can't put my finger on it. But either way, I was there with the squid and we're watching this game. He's like deleting some chips and I'm deleting a pint. This didn't say beers. Yeah. And uh, away we go. We're watching that game and I'm like, oh my God, they're going to completely bottle we this. We were texting each other during that game. This is hilarious. Mm. It was great. Either way. Uh, and we've got a bunch of other Yenars locked in for uh, later next week. It's a lot of cap stuff, uh, reserves competition. And some all Australian, but my favourite is who would win a fight between Harley Reid and Nick Dacos. That's not even a year. That's no, easy. It's very yeah. clearly it's Harley Reid. Yeah. Like I think Alex just wanted to slip in Harley Reid. Yeah, Reed in I just there. wanted to slip in that question: Who would win in a fight between Harley Reid and Nick Dacos, and why is it Harley Reid? Obviously, it's not, Harley. It's not even He's a, year, a lot nah. bigger. Yeah. It's like, like the way you pose that question is not a yeah. yeah no, nah, I just it's like, like I like Harley Reid, Jim. It's like yeah. okay, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that was our Harley Reid segment of the yeah. day. <laughs> We've hit our quota. All right, uh, <laughs> not yet. All Australian team coming up. Right? Should we do it? Why not? Going to start year. some arguments here. Yeah. <laughs> going to start it. some arguments? A lot right. of arguments. The mid-year, all Australian teams. Now, I figured I'd throw out mine. You can tell me where I've gone wrong and throw in your replacements. You've picked Carlton and Essendon combined 18, so no, you've gone wrong. No, it's just Essendon. <laughs> it's just Essendon saying They're the best team in the AFL. Or 20 AFL. or whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's 22 Essendon players. Right? <laughs> we go. With Patrick Cripps on the bench. Yeah. yeah. There's, like a, there's, there's an there. asterisk next to it. Is like, But then also just all of the Suns if they're playing oh, up north. Jed Walters in there too. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, that's He's in the uh, awesome dudes all Australian <laughs> team, which I also have. Uh, so, I'll oh do my that. god, you actually do! I'll do the I'll do the handsome, uh, the best handsome uh, twenty two next yeah, week. Nice. All Australian teams. Where do you want me to start? Back or forward? Go back. Back. You always start right. back. Liam Jones, Alex Pierce, Sam Taylor. Liam Jones. Liam Jones. Liam Jones has been really good. No. And he's like completely snuck under the all radar. Right, all right. Disagree. Half back. Nick Dacos. Yep. Stephen May. Mm-hmm. Nick Blakey. I've got the exact same halfback one. Nice. Ooh, I'm a bit we should be friends. Uh, <laughs> in the center, I've got Zeret, Cripps, and Butters. I got Butters. I don't have. Uh, I've got Zeret and Cripps elsewhere. Nice one. I got some half moves. forward. I just threw Heaney on the half forward bit there. Yeah. Uh, J Train Langford. Uh, no Langford. J Train elsewhere. Oh, I don't know if I have. Yeah, Waterman. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, we'll ben King, Charlie, and Stingle up front. I'm Charlie. completely different full forward line. Oh, I got you've forgot about Jesse Hogan. I reckon. Yeah. I've not forgotten about Jesse Hogan. Because I, I don't think, think he's harsh. been that great. Ooh. Not the last three yeah, weeks, really but before start, that. Yeah. And it's just completely fallen off a cliff. Mm. Followers, Gornicus, Maximus, Chundley Warner. Caleb Sarong, mm. Sarong. <laughs> Interchange. Whoa, uh, Jordan Dawson. Jordan Ooh. Dawson? He has fired up the last yeah. like five weeks. I had him oh. actually ahead of Isaac Rankine. Luke Ryan. Yep. The last spot is between Jacob Wiedering, Christian Petrarca, the Bond, or Adam Trelaw. I got none of them. 
Interesting. Yeah, they're the same. I'll probably throw Weeders in there because he's held yeah. that Carlton back line together and I Fair might enough. need a You've defender. missed. Yeah. Who like this? Go. Oh. Ben, did you say Ben Mackay? No, I haven't got Ben Mackay. Ben Mackay. Nah. Yeah, I got Ben Mackay in there. Um, <laughs> I got uh, Finn Callahan on my I one had one a one. very, very strict no gingers policy. Finn uh -huh. Callahan? I got Finn Callahan on one of my wings. He's played half the games, has he? Sure. Yeah. Really? Well, because I'm also picking on legitimate like positions. Nah. I had Chad. Well, yeah, positions. I was talking about that. I'm yeah. just like, let's go. Yeah, I had Chad Warner at half forward instead of Heaney, so I mm -hmm. swapped them around. I had Grind Myers at my other half forward flank. Uh, that's a weird way. Uh, yeah, to pronounce, I've got Grind Myers. Uh, Grind or Messi? Messi. Yeah. Messi. Uh, my full forward line was Fritch, Waterman, and Hogan. Fritch, I just can't get it. Like, Fritch, he's such a junk time goal sneak. That's why I don't have him. But uh, I've got Vlosten in there. I think he's had a. He How had can six you pick a defender weeks? in a one in ten team? Because he's just a very skillful. But player. no, is it that he's looking good because the ball's going down there so often? Yeah, because his had, team sucks. He's had like three half decent games. Yeah, and then he had, he's getting smashed. Nah, he's had like six or seven. He had seven one good game. game. Anyway, and then I've got Stephen May. I don't know if either of you guys have him. I got Stephen May. Did you have? This is what I'm to remember. Grime Myers, I agree with Stengel. I have him in my forward pocket. Just because I think. You got to put him in there. He's King, a ben King, Isaac Rankin. Nah. Did you have him? No. Nah. He was like one of my tough outs. I yeah. think he's got to be in there. I he think he's having an underrated my tough season. Outs. Underrated season, Isaac Rankin. Uh, and then I've snuck in Rowan Marshall on my bench, which I talked about on one of the other shows, just because yeah. I think he's having an underrated season. I had Grundy instead of Rowan Marshall as my backup Ruckman. My bench was uh, Grundy, Cripps, Sarong, and Nick Martin. I had Sam Taylor in my back line as well. I had Sam Taylor, Sam Taylor as well, yeah. right? So he's like. And oh, Jones, Pierce, and Sam Taylor. Yeah. Josh Dacos as well. Nah. I, I just on the wing. I, don't, nah. I just want to pick traditional wingers. I don't think that's how the. Yeah, he just doesn't get on because of his sketchy, yeah. sketchy. And also, er <laughs> Errol and uh, Finn Callahan, much more handsome. The weirdest part. In the weirdest part for me is like Truck Bond. It's hard. Like Trelaw probably makes it onto my interchange ahead of Weeders. I haven't got any of them. Trelaw's just gotten one million instances of the pill. Yeah. And the Bond has had some weird up and down weeks. We're like, was he? That's on? why he's not in mind yet. Yeah. Truck. They sent him forward for that Carlton game, nearly wins him the game off the back, off his own back, and the rest of the season's sort of been very bumpy. Yeah. They're still very good. Mm. He should probably make it, maybe, but... What about um, uh, Cripper? Uh, that was the other one on that bench. was... on my bench. was on, yeah. I know, literally in the middle of mine. I know for yours, he was in yours, oh, uh, but yeah. ours he isn't. I, I just wasn't... It's because you were haters. Yeah, I, I, don't know. Really. I don't know. My, other, him in my, my starting midfielder was Zach Butters. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, he's on my bench. I chucked Heaney and Merritt. I think Merritt, yeah. just because of his goal kicking. My, my, ability, my starting start center him. circle is Gorn, Heaney, Merritt, Butters. Yeah. Warner, Sarong, Zarek, Cripps, Butters. Yeah, no. There's so many mid, mid I had, options. I had yeah. Sarong on the bench. So. Good year for all Australians, though. We'll keep it up is. our rolling all Australian coverage. But basically, we're at the halfway point. We've got the first round of buys here. Boy, Tough year to be a midfielder. First field. round of mm -hmm. the second round of buys. Great job, yeah. AFL. <laughs> anyway, there's some all Australian. We will do their all handsome team next week. And the best actual dudes. <laughs> That's a rolling one that I've got as well in the uh, Google Doc, just saying. Yeah. So the best dude you want to hang out with, dudes. <laughs> That's my old <laughs> Stephen team. May is not in that team. No, no. I don't want to get hit. No, because <laughs> I don't want to get punched in the head. All right. Let's move on to Thursday night footy. Thursday night footy. <laughs> He's a jockey. You know, I so. love Thursday night footy. Let's do it. I'm going to hate this one, though, because the Thursday night football preview for this week involves my team, my beloved Carlton mm. Blues. Going up against Port Adelaide, who are six and a half point favourites. Uh, they are above them on the ladder as well. This will be at Adelaide Oval on Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. Yep. The over-under is 155 and a half, which feels pretty low because Carlton have given up some pretty big scores. Mm -hmm. We saw last week that would have just scooched over as well because they let goal go score. Some pretty yeah, what was that on. last week? Yeah, Because I think they just topped a hundy. Uh, yeah. Port, <clears throat> sure. <laughs> Pretty handy. The biggest po problem for me so is Carlton stink at Adelaide Oval. Yes. yes so, Jim. stats boy, give us some stats. Why not? Blues 1-7 and all-time at Adelaide Oval, but that one win was in gather round against Freer. So they've never beaten Adelaide or Port Adelaide So you're telling me that every Adelaide game Oval. that I go to, they win? <laughs> Yeah, actually, you there. So you got to go. Go Blues. Are you on, you got to get a flight to uh, I'm going to get a car. <laughs> so yes. Get the car. I don't think Wait, so, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> so that means also every game Stats guy's gone to at the Adelaide Oval, they've won. Yeah. But he's just saying as a Carlton fan. Yeah. As a Carlton yeah. fan. Like, I don't I'm really care if they Clearly the causation here. And the umpires helped him there a little bit. There's well, no so. correlation. It's causation. <laughs> causation. Oh, yeah, there you go. They're and like, then, Jim's here. We better win for him. Yeah, you saw him in the crowd. The other one, the other stat was it's third versus the fifth offense in the comp. But the last five port matches have gone under the total points at Adelaide Oval, so that's really? why that uh, that's why that over under is really small, I think, because at Adelaide Oval for some reason port just can't kick a big score. I was seriously going to question that when I was like, why didn't Port and Geelong have a shootout a few weeks ago? But Adelaide Oval makes Adelaide sense. Adelaide Oval, that's yeah, it. I wrote that one. Yeah, down a bit. Oh, there you go. It is a really really strange setup, I think, with the power, and they're hard to really get a proper read on, right? So that 
up they and come down, from the clouds yeah. and like win that Hawthorne game mm. out of nowhere. Last yeah, thirty three right. seconds, right? Like <laughs> Two just goals. stupid, <laughs> crazy. They beat Geelong in Geelong. Mm. They get rolled pretty easily by the Crows. Mm. The Crom smash them essentially in the showdown. They beat St Kilda at home. That doesn't look like the world's greatest win. And right that now. win was gross. They too. got killed by Collingwood over here. They beat so Frio over there in like oh a really God. stupid, they like n- scrappy, gross game. Annihilated Essendon. They smashed Essendon to gather around that we were all out. That was an outlier game for both teams. That was, so, that was I don't really know. It's wild. a weird, weird, strange <laughs> season. It's a really hard one to get a good bit of a grasp on. I'm still going to take Port just because I think Carlton traveling, I don't trust them on the road at all. This trust year. Them. I mean, right they got absolutely guy. killed, <laughs> killed by Sydney, obviously, two weeks ago. They came home, home. They beat Gold Coast at Marvel, but that's the problem. Gold Coast stink away mm. from home as well. So I think Port win this by eight. I think they just have a little bit too much class in the midfield as well because I think Gold Coast just went off the boil last week. Carlton won the contested ball pretty handily. Charlie and Harry were pretty handy. The Port back line, pretty solid. Forward line, wildly dangerous at times, wildly off the ball at other times. Yep. This will be a close one though, so I'm going by eight, Ooh. which means that Port just covered that six and a half point line. Stats boy? Uh, I'm going to go Port by 13. I was... Tossing and turning between this one. I think it's going to be really Kept you tough. Up at night. It did, it did. Uh, Adelaide Oval, thing. though, just Blues don't win there. Port, so hard to read, but same as Carlton. I think it's going to be really close, but Port just have that uh, yeah, offensive power just to get him over the line. Because like, if Rosie's not playing as well, right? And mm. if we've got the Hornet, so he's been absolutely He's better when one of those when guys. not playing. Yeah. So yeah. It's sort of, they don't really lose too much because, like, Ollie Wines, is he back for this as well? He's, he's been playing the last couple of weeks. Playing, the right? last so, three or four weeks yeah. as well. Both he had the heart and, thing like two weeks ago, and they're yes. like, he's good. It's fine. Finally, yeah, he's all right. But Wines and Boke have actually found some form the last three weeks. So Boke's an interesting super coach one. Yes. Anyway, Alex. I'm leaning towards the flaggers here. Oh. Uh, I just think a lot of injuries around Port at the moment. No Rosie. Willie Rioli went off sore last week. Soldo is apparently coming back to play, but he's in, in off an injury as well. So this could be Tom DeCaney just going, <laughs> I'm going to run you all over could this have a joint. Game, yeah, yeah. Could be a big TDK game, and then it just allows Charlie to really work into the game, and I'm just going to go with Carlton by two goals. Interesting. Mm. Nice. I don't like it. I, I hate this game. Too, I like yeah. your forward line more than I like Ports as well. I just hate the timing of this game. Like If Zach Williams plays forward again, that was uh, great. Yeah, it's yeah. fine. But mm. at the same time, Carlton might have Motlop. He played in the VFL last week. Yeah. Gives him another interesting sort of uh, Couple small goals. forward. Mm. I don't know. But it's... Uh, it's just a really tricky matchup, and Carlton just don't win in Adelaide. If they do, no. I'll be pleasantly surprised, of course. <laughs> and then it'll be lids off completely, because if we can win in Adelaide Oval, you, we're winning. Against Port the Frauds. You, you, you also we need to remember where Carlton are in the top eight at this moment. Eighth. <laughs> exactly. Well, I know exactly where they are. But it's it's like, but it's, Jim, have you had a look at where Carlton are in the ladder? I'm like, I think it was a, a rhetorical lot of time. But it's, but, it's, but it's more that Port Frauds. Yeah. Top eight team. Oh, okay. Yeah, they don't beat top eight teams. There you go. Jim's going against they, his, his word. They beat Geelong the other day, Port. Yep. Okay, one, off, one off. For sure. One off, yeah. But yeah. Anyway. They are frauds. I know that they're frauds, but they're at home. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Carlton might be more fraudulent, especially on the road. Yes. Uh, Supercoach tips, vibes, thoughts yeah. for this week. This is an absolutely chaotic week, this I think, sucks. for the old Supercoach because you've got your best so 18 annoying. scoring, yeah. which is helpful. But at the same time, we have zero rookies to bring in, which stinks. Uh, we also have a really like sort of tough, difficult – Mm. captaincy question where like my initial bad. vibe was Walsh up against Port where it's like he could absolutely go hammer and tongs. No Rosie. Uh, helps that. He's had like a couple of massive scores this year but then outside of that like I don't know what are we looking at stats boy? Uh, in terms of captains? Yeah. Or, yeah I'm going to go I'm going to go Bont Vice I think he was awesome last week 135 and then Honestly, unless Bont goes huge, I'm just going to keep it on Gorn as captain because Gorn, I was so annoyed I didn't keep it on Gorn last week. 180, he's been the best super coach player. So, yeah, I'll probably keep it on Gorn, I reckon. Gorn plays at uh, Alice Springs. That's so on Sunday, the, isn't it, as well? Against Freo, so Sunday at 1 o'clock. Yeah, and I know uh, Jackson and Darcy are pretty solid, but Gorn just literally towed up Marshall and got 180 against one of the best Ruckman, so... Dacos Friday night against the Dogs. You never know. Not bad as well. Dacos yeah. might get bevoed. Which <laughs> Actually, at Marvel, Dacos goes all right as well. Mm. Uh, and you have Essendon and Gold Coast. I don't know. It's a weird one for like the Zeret, <coughs> Ridley, Martin type. So, yep. I don't know. It's a weird, weird week. You've also got the Saints. Rowan Marshall against the Eagles possibly out west. Who knows? Oh, yeah, that's actually good. And Bailey Williams, yeah, we'll get towed up there. The biggest tough ones, I think, is that Joe Richards was out after oh. tunning up again. So... Alex, yeah, came and worked yesterday. He's like, Joe Richards is injured. Oh, yeah, he just really, got 100 I, I the rookie. I broke guy's heart. Yeah, so. I was not happy. 
I've also just realized in draft, I don't have a ruck because I had Jordan Sweet and then I had Briggsy who's got the bye. Oh, no. And then my midfield is Rosie and Cornelio, both injured, plus the bye for GWS with Chunley Warner. So it's like, I'm sure to play. That was actually a news ticket that we sort of missed out on because like we hit it on Sunday night that Coniglio still hurt his shoulder, play, sort of played through it for a bit. Yeah. And yeah. Went, Hang on a second, I can't feel my arm. <laughs> Six weeks. Oh, I didn't right? even see it. Was that? Six, yeah, I, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the... I didn't even see it. Right, well, so. I'm trading him right now. And... Probably a good idea. Well, maybe this is just a bit of fake news and I'm going to get you to trade him and I'll pick him up. <laughs> Man, I'm, Watch it. I'm screwed. I need to. <laughs> anyway, but there are very, very few rookies on the ground this week, so trade carefully and listen to the Supercoach show. Yes. Good stuff. All right. Is that it for AFL Today for today? I think so. Yeah. Nice one. We'll be back on deck with AFL Today tomorrow. God, I love saying that. Uh, <laughs> it'll be the AFL Today Thursday night team show. It will be Stats Boy and I think just doing that one a little bit earlier than usual and then cramming teams on at the end, okay. which will be pretty yeah. interesting and pretty fun. Should Different way of doing it. We'll see how we go. But again, thanks to Alex for jumping on. Cheers, Jim. With all these pro Sydney buyees. <laughs> and we have the Stats Boy. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Great job, Stats Boy. Great addition to the show. Uh, remember to smash a like across <laughs> all the socials. Round one. <laughs> you dog. Yeah. I'm still here. We've been here since the preseason. Oh, uh, smash a like across all the socials, of course, to see us doing stuff and lots of fun, weird things. I think we'll have all of our all Australian teams all read out properly and nicely, yeah. which will be very nice. You can check out the AFL Today Show, of course, on YouTube, Facey, IG, TikTok, X. I believe it is the Sports Today Show on Facey. Yep. Uh, but you can also check out all the other shows as well. Cricket Today Podcast, Football Today Podcast, NBA Australia, hold all tickets for all your GGs as well. NFL Australia too, if you just want to listen to last season. That'd be weird. Either way, uh, <laughs> subscribe, star, and like all of them. What are you doing? If you haven't subscribed and starred at this point, you're just dogging the boys. It's just rough as guts, mate. Rough as guts. <laughs> Either way, get right around all of those shows just like, I don't know, how about a Steve Silvani screamer against the Pies back in 1988? That's one, that one's from the vault. Go Google Sounds that. Good. All right, we'll catch you tomorrow for the AFL Today team show tomorrow. Until then, look out yourselves. Remember, footy's back. Woo!